Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. So today we are back with another Dollarama haul. I am so happy with the stuff that I found. I got a lot of great stuff, and I also picked up a few things that I have been on the hunt for for the longest time, and I'm so excited, and I can't wait to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start out with this first. This is actually a very, very new item, and I'm surprised I found it as fast as I did. So this is the, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pronounce this name wrong, Joe BB Cream. I think I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I'll go ahead and show you guys the packaging up close. So that is what it looks like right there. So basically I saw people posting about this in the Dollarama Facebook group and they have a bunch of other products from this brand as well, Dollarama now. I just went ahead and picked this one up because I felt like this would be the one that I use the most. And honestly, you guys, I don't know too much about this brand. This was honestly my first time hearing about them. So what I always like to do whenever I see brand names at the dollar store, I usually like to Google them. And apparently you can get this brand at shoppers and this kind of product, like their BB cream and like their moisturizer, typically go from like anywhere from 20 bucks to 30 and this was only four bucks so I thought that was such a great deal I love when you can get brand names at the Dollarama I think it's just the best thing ever so this is what the actual product looks like right there so it is a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer whatever you want to call it to be honest with you guys I am usually not really a tinted moisturizer kind of gal I usually just stick with my foundations and that's about it I tried this one out today I love it. It is so good. For being a tinted moisturizer, it actually has quite a bit of coverage. I was really, really surprised by that, but I think it's such a good product, you guys. So yeah, like I said, I am wearing it today. It's very skin-like, it's very light, but it's not extremely sheer, which I really like. I was a little bit worried that this would basically just be like moisturizer and that's it, but not at all. So this is in the shade medium. I believe that's the only shade that they're carrying. I could be wrong, but that's all that I saw. One thing I will say about this though, you guys, is that it definitely does have a scent. It really reminds me of sunscreen smell, but it also has like a hint of floral in it as well, which I feel like when it comes to face products, I kind of prefer when they're unscented. Personally, they don't bother me, like the scent doesn't bother me, but I know for some people it definitely does. But it's definitely like not a strong overpowering scent at all. It just definitely does have a smell to it. I'll also go ahead and try to show you guys the consistency so that's what it looks like there but yeah you guys overall very very impressed with this I highly recommend picking this up if you see it and I feel like once I run out of this I'm definitely going to repurchase it I would say out of 10 I give this a 9. <laughs> okay the next thing I'm going to show you guys is an item that I have been searching for for the longest time like I genuinely can't tell you how long I've been looking for this and it got to the point where I was like you know what I'm never gonna find this I feel like if you're a Dollarama lover like myself then you know what I mean like you have those products that you see people post about you've been searching for them forever but you just can't find them so you're like okay I'm never gonna find that you know I wish I could but I'm never going to and this was one of those items for me I was genuinely shocked when I saw it but I'm so happy that I finally got my hands on it and it is the ring light so yeah it's like a little ring light with a mini little stand here and this is from the brand Tech One. Oh, Oh my goodness, you guys, like I said, I've been on the hunt for this sucker for so long, but I genuinely cannot get over that they're selling products like this at the dollar store. Something like this would be about $15 on Amazon, and I believe this was four bucks. And what's really cool about this, you guys, is it actually has like multiple light settings here. So this is what it actually looks like right here. So obviously it's not like a giant ring light by any means, but honestly, you guys, this will work perfectly fine if you're planning on doing any kind of filming or taking pictures, this will work fine. And then it does have like three little twisty legs and that is obviously the stand part. Now I will say these are not the most sturdy legs in the world. I think they're like a little bit flimsy um, and sometimes it's hard to get it to like stand up straight but for four dollars you guys it's a steal. So it is a USB cord and since I don't have anything to plug it into right now what I'll go ahead and do is pop a little video up on screen right now of showing like all the different lighting settings and stuff like that. I gotta say I'm so pleased with this. So happy that I finally got it and I think it's well worth the four dollars. Like if you're planning on doing any kind of filming, YouTube videos, TikTok, Instagram pictures. This is such a great little thing to have. All right, next, this is another one that I've been on the hunt for for quite some time now, and that would be this right here. So this is a makeup mirror with LED light, and people have been going crazy about this product. So I believe it only comes in two colors, I think black and white. I went ahead and got the black one, and it is so cute. Like, I just think it's the cutest thing ever. And also, you guys, this is by the brand Lori. I think you guys know by now. I think I say it in every video, but I really like this brand a lot. I think they're great. So this is what the packaging looks like up closer, just in case you guys are curious. I'm gonna try to like not blind you guys with the mirror part, but this is what it actually looks like right here. So it's a pretty decently sized mirror. And I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell or not, but okay, there you go. So it has like this little dot at, up at the top here. So you go ahead and press that. And that's what turns the light on. And then you go ahead and press it off again. Is mine broken? It won't turn off. 
Okay, there we go. Took a little extra dabbing, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and show it like this just in case the mirror part is like irritating your eyes, but I love this product so much, you guys. I think it's so cute. Like I said, I do think it's a pretty decent size for a little makeup mirror. This would be so cute just like sitting on your vanity or something like that. So it does take four AAA batteries. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with it. I wish it did, but it doesn't. <laughs> I always love when products come with their own batteries. I think it's like the greatest thing ever, but it's okay. <laughs> Again, you guys, I believe this one was four bucks. Okay, next I picked up literally the cutest bowl I've ever seen. I just think these are absolutely adorable. So it is like that speckled print and I just love that. I think it's so cute. So it does have like little handles at the side here. And I think something like this would be perfect for like chili or oatmeal or anything like that. They did also have this in red and blue, I believe, but I just love this green color. I think it's so pretty. So this was $3.50 sense it's microwave and dishwasher safe but it's not oven safe but i just love it so much like i said i think it's just seriously so adorable it's definitely not like the biggest bowl in the world but i think for like a single serving perfectly fine and also you guys it has quite a bit of weight to it next another item that i am super super excited about this is the bamboo kitchen tool set so you do get four of the kitchen tools and then a little bamboo holder as well i thought this was such a great deal now you guys i want you to go ahead and guess how much this was you know the dollarama they range anywhere from like a dollar to four bucks so i want you guys to go ahead and guess right now how much do you think this was i'm gonna give you a little bit of time go ahead and type in the comments right now this was only three dollars i was shocked by that because i was expecting this to be four bucks i feel like majority of things at the dollar Rama now are four dollars anyway so you know it's pretty normal so when i saw this was only three dollars i was like are you sure this is a joke <laughs> i just think that's such a great deal you guys get four utensils and the holder as well for three bucks pretty much a steal. So unfortunately, I don't want to take them out of the packaging yet, but I'll try to show you guys up close here what the utensils look like. And also you guys, if you are curious, these are dishwasher safe. Next, we have another find that I'm super excited about, and that would be the bamboo serving tray. I'm so excited about this, you guys. <laughs> I just seriously think this is so nice, you guys. So that's what the front of it looks like there. And then that is the back. So this was $4 and it says on the back here to hand wash with mild soap and then rinse and dry immediately. But I just think this would be so nice, obviously for a serving board or like a charcuterie board, but also as kind of like a decoration. So you kind of like lay it down, put maybe some candles on here, maybe even like your makeup brushes or something like that. And I think that'd be really cute. It's actually really thick. It feels pretty good quality. So I think for four bucks, great deal. All right, so I might as well go ahead and show the other cutting board that I picked up. Now I have used this one, so it's not in the original packaging, but I went ahead and picked up this super pretty marble cutting board. This is honestly so nice, you guys. Like, I really, really like this one a lot. And what I like about this to you guys, it's a nice marble, but it's not like in your face. It's just a really nice subtle marble. Now I will say, you guys, this is actually a little bit smaller than like your average cutting board. Nothing crazy, but it definitely is a little bit smaller. This one was also $4 as well. I think pretty much every cutting board at the dollar store is four bucks, but honestly, they have really great quality ones. And I gotta say, you guys, this one is definitely great quality. I have used this one to like cut on, but I think this would also be really cute just as like decor as well. Okay, I'm pretty sure this one is not a new product. I think it's been around for quite some time, but honestly, I picked it up just because I really needed one. So this is the Wet n Wild Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black, and that is what it looks like up close there. I think I have actually tried this one. I believe it was like years and years ago, but I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I have tried it. Honestly, I can't remember if I liked it or not, but I just, it was there, I saw it, I'm like, you know what, I need one, so I might as well pick it up and just give it a go. I will say, I don't know if I'm gonna be a big fan of this tip. Typically, I like to go for liners that are like marker style, and that's what this one looks like, so I don't know. It may work well though, who knows? I definitely wish it was not waterproof though, because that's one thing. It's hard enough to get liner off anyways, but waterproof? That's gonna be a struggle. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I mean, I do really enjoy Wet n Wild. I think they're a great brand. I believe this was, it was probably three or four bucks. Honestly, I can't remember exactly. But um, like I said, I really enjoy the brand Wet n Wild. So I'm gonna give it a go and see what it's like. All right, so everything else that I picked up, you guys, is kind of like Valentine's Day themed. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it with this right here. I just thought this was so cute, you guys. So it is $4, but you get the mug and the little like, teddy bear inside there. I love the mug. I think it's so pretty. Cute little, you know, Valentine's Day gift. If you're not sure what to give to somebody, give them something like this. I'm telling you guys right now, you can never go wrong with a mug. Everybody loves mugs. Okay, so next I picked up these little felt hearts. These were $1.75 and you get 12 pieces inside there. So you get red, a hot pink color, and then a lighter pink as well. I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. I thought it would be really pretty to kind of make like a garland out of these, like a DIY garland, but I don't know if I'm actually going to do that yet or not. But I figured, you know what, I might as well just go ahead and pick it up just in case 
you know, I want to, but that's what they look like up close there. I think they're really cute. I was planning on doing a Valentine's Day DIY video, but honestly, I don't know if that's gonna happen now, just because everything that I was looking for at the dollar store, I could not find. And you guys know, when it comes to my DIY videos, I like to kind of base them all around stuff that you can get at the dollar store, just so it's, you know, easy to do, very affordable. And unfortunately, I could not find anything. So I'm a little bit bummed about that. I mean, I may still do it, but I'm not sure yet. But yeah, if I do, I definitely will be using these, but I just think they're super cute. All right, so next I went ahead and picked up these little Valentine's Day nail stickers. So these were $1.25 and you get 30 pieces inside. And that is what they look like right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And again, not sure if I'm actually gonna end up using these, but I think they are super, super cute. To be honest with you guys, I have never used a nail sticker before. I really wish they would have had like an all white heart in here because obviously my nails are red, but I think it'd be really cute with like a little accent nail with a white heart but maybe I'll do like a lighter nail and put like a little red heart on or something I don't know and speaking of nails you guys the last thing I got are actually some nail polishes and I went ahead and picked up all kinds of Valentine's Day colors I just thought these were so pretty so the first one I picked up is this red right here and it's actually what I have on my nails right now it's super super pretty it's almost like a ruby red and the name of it is tough love it's by Sally Hansen and that is what it looks like up close there. Super, super pretty. Next, I picked up this really, really pretty light pink. This is in the shade Hardcore Party. And again, all of these are from Sally Hansen. I don't know how well it's gonna come up on camera, but it's a really nice pale pink. And then last but not least, I picked up another pink. This one's almost like a Barbie pink, I guess you could say. And this one's called Heart of Stone. And that is what it looks like up close there. Super, super pretty, you guys. Look at that. So these were $2 each, but they are brand name. They're Sally Hansen. I know the dollar store just started selling another brand name of nail polish. I can't remember what it is now, but I haven't seen that one yet. Honestly, Sally Hansen's pretty much the only nail polish that I wear. I think it's pretty good. I feel like it kind of chips a little bit easy, but for two bucks, can't go wrong. All right, you guys, so that is everything for today's video. If you're a fan of these videos or if you're a Dollarama lover like myself, I do a bunch of these videos on my channel. I also have an entire playlist dedicated to them, which I'll go ahead and pop up on the screen somewhere up here and also in the description bar below. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big like and subscribe because I would really appreciate that. Also, if you want to go ahead and keep up with me outside of YouTube, I do have Instagram and TikTok and I'll go ahead and link those down below. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.